My name is Wayne Gilbert. I make art out of the unclaimed, cremated remains of Americans that are left behind in funeral homes. It's a very controversial work, obviously, and uh, it's uh, laden with all the customary uh, ideas that humans bring to the table philosophically, psychologically, um, theologically. Uh, just about every aspect of humans somehow ties into what their thoughts are about life and death. Well, it was a culmination of about 20 plus years of academic study concerning art as it is and how we relate to it, uh, what humans uh, find is the curious phenomenon of art that makes it uh, capable of demanding great institutions and become priceless beyond money. The dominating a psychic condition of an artist for reasons I don't think any of us will understand is that we want to put something out for the world to see. And it's a very difficult thing to explain in a phenomenon that what, what creates a doctor, what creates an artist, what creates a musician, what creates uh, anything. So you can't really ever isolate where it's coming from, but it's just kind of a unique thing that happens to you. I think one of the mystical things about being human is to try to understand what it is to be human. Uh, it's an awfully peculiar thing because at any given time, there's not just you and I, but all of the rest of us. One of the interesting observations that I've made over the years is that a good number of people will react in a negative way once they hear and or see the work. But after some reflection, uh, they begin to understand that the possibilities are that in order for this particular person who was left behind in a funeral home is a far better thing to end up in a piece of art than wherever the possibilities might be that they would do. What I've come to the conclusion is, is that this is it. That this, and it's very difficult to be in this world because it's a forever attempt to get back to this moment, which is essentially already gone, and the next one is coming. At the end of the day, it's as much my responsibility to give you the right to be who you are as you give me the right to be who I am. And unfortunately, and or fortunately, there's so many of us with varying opinions that if you can, and if you're lucky enough in the spiritual senses, you can give me and you the right to enjoy this, what looks to me like the only one experience we're gonna have, the best possible one we can get.